today we have a special treat for you. This is the Ruby Grim Eclipse Definitive Edition Collector's Box from Limited Run for the Nintendo Switch. And this was only for the Switch. Uh, God knows why, but <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. I've managed to actually get this off of Amazon, and it is a fully sealed box. Everything should be intact. This is def this is new plastic, so this is well not new plastic, but plastic around the box. And judging by the looks of it, it does not look like it's opened. It does have a little bit of damage on it, but I don't really care about that. So yeah, uh, yeah. There's a couple things with this. Uh, for one, it's only for the Switch. However, the game is technically for the Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. The only thing is, again, this version only is for the Switch. So, again, you can play as Weiss, Ruby, Blake Yang, Team Juniper, and unlock each character's unique abilities and upgrades. Uh, experience an exclusive and fully canon storyline with full voiceover from the cast of the show and an original score from Ruby's composer. Uh, team up with your friends in either two-player couch co-op or four-player online co-op and utilize power team or powerful team attacks. Uh, prove you're the ultimate huntsman or huntress by defeating waves of enemies and building defense turrets in challenging alternate game modes. Okay, so here's the thing about this game. I've never figured out the whole building defense turrets thing. I'm assuming that's more or less in co-op. Other than that, I have no clue. Uh, let's see, includes the game, includes a shadow box, I don't know what that is, crescent rose keychain, Four enamel pins, a poster, and sticker sets. So, let's pop this open. And the box should just pop open. Like so. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, 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 Okay. Now this is actually kind of cool. Okay, so this is the shadow box art. I'm gonna keep this in its proper packaging uh, but it also comes with a commemorative plate okay so that's cool let's see so this is so Ruby right here or so Ruby counts as a part of the foreground of the box then I'd say, and then of course, Blake and Yang and Weiss are the middle ground, and the mid ground, and then the background is the actual background with the rim and everything. So yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna open it like I just said, but yeah. Uh, what else is ah, pins. Oh, and the keychain. Okay, so. Here we are. Here's the ruby pen. And by the way, these are in the... These are in that uh, one costume that... It looks like that they're wearing the jumpsuits from Genlock. I don't know why they made those suits uh, for this game, but... But they look... They look alright. Not the best, but alright. 
But here's Ruby's pen. Keeping these in the packaging. Uh, and here's Weiss's pen. Oh, there's Blake. Okay. Blake's pen right here. And lastly, Yang's pen right here. And the next thing we have is the Crescent Rose uh, keychain. Kind of bummed out that it's just all red. You could have painted some things a little silver, a little bit of black on there. But it's all red, but it's still a cool keychain nonetheless. Um, cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. got some stickers. Okay, we got Team Ruby's weapons along with Yang's arm, some rose petals on each side, and whatever the heck this is. We got Team Ruby, well the cover art for them, along with the rose petals as well. And Team Ruby in the same armor again. And of course we got the game right here. You're made by, brought to you by Aspire. And of course, Rooster Teeth. We all know Rooster Teeth is gone, but hopefully, hopefully Ruby still lives on. And by the way, the good and better logo from Rooster Teeth, not that new one that they made, not that garbage one. And this is the poster. I'm not gonna unfold this, but I'll probably show an image right here. Uh, probably showing you the full poster. Uh, but I'm gonna assume that it is basically uh, just this. The same image as this. But, uh... Yeah, is that it? Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it for that. Uh, gosh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but, um, stay frosty, stay cool, stay hydrated. It's going to be a hot summer, I'll tell you that much. <laughs>